round one of the European Rally Championship, the famous Rast Rally Costa Smeralda. The Costa Smeralda, the beautiful coast, and what wonderful scenery. Early spring, no sunshine and tourists just yet, but it's just the weather for rally cars. The terracotta roofs, the beautiful scenery, and a high quality lineup. 102 cars starting round one of the European Rally Championship, including a strong contingent from Germany. And perhaps for the locals, life for a couple of days at least is going to just get a little bit louder and more hectic. And of course, in Sardinia, everybody loves La Bella Motori, the beautiful motor cars. And there's certainly very much the Lanchisti, a huge crowd turning out at 8 o'clock on the Wednesday morning in Porto Servo. The local heroes, Didier Oriol Bernardo Celli, leaving the line in the works. Martini Lancia, the world championship car. There, Didier Oriol there, Bernardo Celli, his co-driver. Three world championship cars running in this event. Aghini and Farnoccia in the other Martini Racing Lancia, also the Jolly Club entry of Dario Cerato and Dino Cherry, and then this car representing the best of the German runners, the first Mitsubishi appearance in the European Rally Championship with Erwin Weber and Manfred Heimer. Another German speaking team from Austria, that's Christoph Dertl and his German co-driver, Matthias Feltz. Car number 22, the team Mata Sikerheil, Group N Mitsubishi Galant. The Group N car showroom stock, don't forget, not one of the 300 inverted commas horsepower cars running in Group A. These cars are exactly as showroom spec with safety equipment added and one or two extras such as sump guards, these cars are only allowed to run with what is homologated for 5,000 cars built or more. Look at the contrast with that fantastic Lancia De Delta Integrale, the Ultimo as they're calling it, the last evolution of the classic Delta Integrale shape. Didier Oriol setting the best times on the asphalt and sadly Irvin Weber and Manfred Heimer struggling to keep the pace. Their new car, the Group A Mitsubishi Galant, struggling to hold on to seventh position. But even seventh place was rather better than the fortunes for Christoph Dertl, the Austrian driver, and his co-driver, Matthias Feltz. Just look at the cars here as they come through. The big twitch at the back. This is Dertl and Feltz with the Griffoni Sport Lancia Delta Integrale Group A car. A punctured rear tyre, losing them time as they head into the service area. So more expense for the Austrian team as the cars run into Ozieri, a small town with uh, well, rather an added population as the rally comes to town. It's certainly making life rather difficult for the crew, for the service crews, but the drivers seem to be enjoying it as all the holder ride helping out with a little bit of autograph signing. And well, even the mechanics now joining in with the Southern European enthusiasm. So, hello, and photographs taken for the Italian, or for the Sardinian rally fans. But of course, not all people take the rally quite as seriously. The Sardinians noted for their enthusiasm for rallying. It's a big social occasion for them. The Costa Smeralda fans of all ages take their vantage points to watch the cars go by. It's known as the Corsa, the race to them, and that's what it is. It's a day off, a day of spectacle, and a chance to see something they only get once a year. Taking the best vantage point is one thing, but some fans take it perhaps just a little bit too far. This car is actually running flat out on a rally stage, people wandering down the sides of the road. And how about this for a loony photographic position? But the weather changes, the fans stay as enthusiastic despite their condition right at the edge of the track. 
It's now raining cats and dogs as the cars move onto the gravel. The Lanciers are dominating. Didier Oriol ahead of Andrea Aghini in the Jolly Club entry. Didier Oriol, car number three, blasting through the stages. And as the cars start the final stage of day one, special stage number eight, Dario Cerato blasts off the line with the Group A Delta Integrale using all of its 300 and perhaps 300 plus brake horsepower. But problems for the German drivers. Irving Weber drops the clutch, something goes bang in the transmission, and the car coasts gently to a standstill. Now that is a disaster for Irving Weber. He now prepares to push the car out of the closed service area. The, the area around the start area is a marshal's post, so he's had to push the car out of that area so the mechanics can be allowed to work on it. You can see there the start goes on. Dirtle and Feltz go past. Irvin Weber now saying, we don't know exactly what happened, it's a gearbox problem. Um, there's no power getting through to the wheels, so we're trying to change the gearbox. Well, saying he's going to change the gearbox and being asked whether it's possible in uh, such a short period of time, they've got less than half an hour to change the entire transmission of the Gallant VR4, which is a very complex car. Four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, and a special close-ratio six-speed gearbox. And the mechanics slaving like fury in what are less than ideal conditions, literally in a field. And they manage it in just 35 minutes, but it's losing them time. Weber and Heimer drop back from 7th to 67th place. Bringing up the rear, it's bad luck for the Mitsubishi Works team. But how about this for a drive? Issy Isolde Holderide driving brilliantly with no problems with a car. Brilliant driving from Isolde Holderide, car 22. She's up to 19th place so far, and she still isn't satisfied. Meanwhile, at the head of the field, it's Didier Oriol extending his lead, and even his teammate Andrea Aghini can't do anything about it. Aghini right on the raggy edge, using the full width of the track, but he's being forced at the moment to settle for second place behind the flying Didier Oriol. And at the moment it's Oriol Nagini, then Gianfranco Cunico in the Ford Sierra Cosworth. Lancia driving as fast as necessary and as spectacular as possible. No problem. Uh, I drive fast, not maximum attack, but fast. Okay, I have uh, one little problem in the second stage this morning. After one jump, uh, I broken uh, one, uh, I don't know the name in English, uh, ceiling block. And after I have the car, the two last kilometers I have slow because the car go right, left, right, left. Okay, I lose 10 seconds, but it's not a problem. <laughs> well, in second place, Andrea Aghini, he too uh, telling us a little bit about the uh, stages so far. He's saying, well, everything isn't running too bad at the moment. So on that last special stage, we uh, damaged the differential. Uh, he said, we're working now to get the car prepared. In third place, it's Gianfranco Cunico and Stefano Evangelisti in the Ford Sierra Cosworth 4x4. Very spectacular driving, but still in that third place with no chance, really, of catching the two Lanciers in front. But Dirtle and Feltz retire from the event in a very spectacular manner. Not only a roll, but then nestling on the edge of that drop. 
And just look at the fall below the car. No wonder the crew are treating things very cautiously indeed. Luckily, no injuries for Dirtle and Feltz. The rally over for them, and also now out of the event, Irvin Weber. From the German-speaking crews, only Isolde Holderheid and Monika Eckhardt able to finish the rally, finishing the event in 15th place and gaining them a great deal of international experience and quite a few new fans in Sardinia. The winner of the Costa Smeralda rally was Didier Oriol in the Lancia, but you wouldn't believe it to hear the cheers of the crowd.